Hey guys, welcome back to the kitchen with me, Debbie. First off, thank you for being so patient with me. I know it's been a while since I've uploaded a video, but I noticed I've been getting quite a few new subscribers. First, I want to thank you all very much. And I made this coconut, um, seasoned coconut rice, put it on social media, and I've gotten a few requests for, for the recipe and was asked to put it on here. So I'm making this simple recipe for you real quick. Now here in this pot, I have about a teaspoon of olive oil heating up. Here I have a half a stick of butter that I'm going to add to the pot. If these nails will let me, okay, here we go. And then other ingredients I'm gonna be using, I have um, a half a medium onion chopped. I have two cloves of garlic diced, a little bit of thyme. I have two small green onions that I've washed and chopped. And I have um, a scotch bonnet pepper. I also will be using, here is a can of coconut milk. I'm going to use this um, Boya chicken bouillon powdered version. I have also, oops, I've also used this in there, the um, Cezanne seasoning, but I'm not going to use this today instead. No, actually I'm going to use a small amount of this and a half of this packet right here. And also some onion powder. So let me add to this butter and... Um, olive oil, the garlic, and the onions, and let's saute this a bit. Ooh, okay. This okay. I already have my three cups of rice washed and ready to go. Just need to saute these till the onions are translucent or you can smell the onion and the garlic just like wow. So it usually takes about two to three minutes. So guys, okay, so our onions and garlic are, are well cooked. Onions are soft and translucent. So I'm gonna add to this the thyme, the green onions, and the scotch bonnet. It's up to you if you want to burst the scotch bonnet. Yes, I'm sure Jade would like me to burst it, but that's not happening in my rice because I'm making jerk chicken in the oven and that's spicy. That's not spice for me, so Jade don't win today with the spice. So now I'm going to add the can of um, coconut milk to this. I'm going to add about a cup of water. Then it's time to season this baby up. Ooh, to see why I hate these things. <laughs> a pinch of salt. They're not good for me in the kitchen. That's why I wanted them short. And a little bit of onion powder. And then I Half a teaspoon of this this um Cezanne seasoning and a, um, a bit of this um chicken cube. Okay, guys, I'm gonna bring this to a boil and then come back and add the the the, the, the rice to this. It's just that simple. Go, tell me. Okay guys, so we're back. Um, I have um, let this cook a bit together for about 8 to 10 minutes. I tasted the, the thing to make sure because as you see, I was very stingy on the salt because I'm, 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 I'm learning to, to, well, I'm wanting to use less salt. So I'm going to wash the rice and I'm, the rice is already washed. My God, I'm going to add my rice. I swear these jasmine rice grains are looking smaller and smaller. They're not looking like they used to look anymore. I don't know what's happening. But they, this, this is jasmine rice, but these grains do not look like jasmine to me. And I'm rambling. So let me stir this all in. And we're going to slowly cook this. Rice takes 25 to 30 minutes. And as you can see, the saison, is, the rice is going to have a little bit of that color because of the, the um, that saison seasoning. Don't panic. If that's the one you use, it's gonna give the rice a little coloring, which I actually like. 
So guys, I'll see you back in about 25, 30 minutes when the rice is finished cooking and show you the, the, the end results, okay? Action. Okay. <laughs> and then cut. Okay, guys. Jade and I are messing around. Sorry. But we're back and our rice is done. Look at this. Perfectly cooked rice, seasoned coconut rice. Guys, when I said this thing is filled with flavor, oh my God, it is filled with flavor. And it goes with so many dishes. If you go on my social media page, you see certain things that I've served it with. Some of the recipes like the, um, I had, I had it with jerk, jerk shrimp, sweet and spicy jerk shrimp. It was sweet and sour jerk shrimp. And I, I don't remember, but it's on my blog. I will include the link down below, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment. I appreciate it all. Thank you, and you have a blessed day.